Replay is a growing application for Skyhoy controllers, and today we'll take a look at how vMix Replay works with Timespin, which is a true workhorse for Replay. This controller is actually time-tested. It has been around for many years already. And Timespin facilitates replay in vMix in two modes. We have the clip mode, which is great for true instant replay, while the action that happened just a few seconds ago can be replayed. And then we have free mode, where you can shuttle forth and back in your past timeline, and you can build playlists for later replay. And these two modes are sharing the same engine in vMix, and therefore also many of the same functions. So we'll take a look at how that works in this video. I am not an expert in replay operation myself, so I hope I'm able to, to teach you this. But what you see here, if you're used to vMix replay, you should identify this is the, the incoming streams we have where we can um, make a record. It's basically recorded all the time, and then we can go back in the timeline of what we see here. Over here, you need to focus on A3. The B channel, we are not really using that in this video, so, so please just more or less ignore that. If you already know vMix Replay, I'm sure you know what to do with it. But anyway, we are looking here, and we see the skater is... What is he doing? Okay, actually, um, let me see. Okay, right there, and okay, something exciting happened, and I pressed 5. So what happens when I pressed 5 is that I recorded a clip to my timeline here, or to my playlist, sorry. And that is five seconds long. If I press 10 or 15, it would have been 10 or 15 long. If I, uh, uh, let me see, play the selected event right there, you see it's now playing back this. Now, unfortunately, I actually had the wrong angle. You see it was angle number three that I'm playing back here, and that was not the most helpful one. So you can, you can actually set that up. So instead of three, you hold down shift, you can pick which angle would be the default. But in this case, I think what I wanted to have would be angle number, probably number two and four. So I can either use the mouse, that, that is what you would normally do unless you had this controller, but you can also do it here on the number. So you have one, two, three, four, and you can select these on and off. Okay, so what happened is now, now I have number two and I'm playing this clip back. And you see that is the five seconds I'm playing back and it stops right there. And I can do it again if I want. Now, if I enable number four, that one, by pressing the button four over here, then it is going to play back both number two and number four in the order here. And that is a vMix setting, so it's just how it is. It seems that I could also maybe benefit from having source number one in this case. Let's just try that for the fun of it. Okay, so first I see it from this angle here, and then it is playing it back here, and then finally in the view very close to the concrete. Now, for instant replay, where you want to do this a few seconds after it just happened, it is... I don't know what your workflow is going to be, but for those of you who know vMix already, you are familiar with the different uh, outputs that you can enable uh, or the inputs you can enable, and that is happening on these buttons. Now, as it continues, this is our live feed over here, there might be new action that we want to record. And if we want to start out by clip number two, maybe we set that one up, and that was a great angle. So I'll just capture that one. Now, uh, if I want to actually edit, most likely you won't for instant replay, but if you want to edit the endpoint moving the jog, you see that it's changing the endpoint over here and the duration is changing at the same time. So I may want to do that to like that. If I hold down shift, I can now move the out point and my out point would be this. All right, that's great. Okay, nice. Let's play this event back. So you see it? That's really cool. Nice. And then maybe if I wanted to add number three, I can also do that. So now we are playing back these seven seconds and 14 frames, and it is now fading over to the other angle where we see the skater is coming around in the corner there, and that's it. Now it's gonna stop, and we would cut to something else. I wanna show you, um, actually, let's just try to replay it once again, because what about the T-bar? This T-bar is helpful, you know, when it comes to the speed. So I can now have like full speed. And then for this clip, we want to maybe slow down the action right there and see it in slow motion and then speed it up again. So the T-bar is essentially managing the replay speed of your clip. Let's move over and look at the clip mode. So in uh, or the free mode. So in free mode, we can essentially go back in our timeline. So basically look at the timeline down here in the bottom. It is everything that has happened. I know this current feed is actually looping, but 
basically we would be able to go back in the timeline and then build something which is like really exciting. So here obviously the scaler is on a victorious course and we may want to now move over to a different bank. You can also change the banks not with the mouse but with the uh, panel here. So you would choose bank number two for your, um, if you want to make this summary of exciting events, you would now make an endpoint and we can now move forward. This is great, okay. And we say this is the out point. Maybe we have alternative angles for this as well. So if we now change, let me see if that is, I use that one to move over to this angle. I'll just move back here. He's really excited. We see that. So we'll just add an in point and then out point here. So now we see we have this little timeline. We can move up and down in this um, uh, playlist. We can move up and down in the playlist. We can play back the selected events to just check. Okay, we like that. Now, unfortunately, we don't like the angle that is uh, selected. Actually, it was another one. And this is where I'm not the pro. So unfortunately, let me just see. Now, nah, I think for this one, yeah, you see that I was using the buttons to manage which output I was on. So let's just try to, uh, to replay the selected event. Okay, that's great. And then it is going to move on and play back the next one if I actually had it in that one mode. So, okay, I like that. I am now building up my playlist in the free mode. I can do that. If you want to play it back, like we saw just before you go back to clip mode, and then you have playback all events or selected events. Again, selected event would be the one that we are currently on, but playback all events starts from the top of your playlist and it plays this back, fades over and plays that um, second clip in the playlist back for us as well. It is actually possible to have even more banks. We can go to like bank number three and here we could also select uh, clips that we find exciting from whatever we build up. Let's let's say it's from the first bank here. And let's um, go to one of the clips in this bank. This is the very first one that we recorded. So this one, if we think this is great for some summary at a later point, including the uh, different angles that we have recorded, we can simply hold down this key and move it, or we can copy it if we hold down the other key, the copy, and we can copy it over into bank number three. So I will press that button, bank number three. And now if we navigate over to bank number three, you see how this clip was moved over there. So when you know you have these clips that you want to preserve in a summary at a later point, you simply just use the buttons on the time spin and move it over or copy it over into the bank, which you are using for building your summary. Before we end this video, I would like to take a look at the remaining functions we haven't covered or basically go through everything. T-bar is for replay speed. This is copy, uh, move and copy functions for moving clips from one bank to another one. We have the shift key that helps us to access additional functions like an engineering menu here, which is um, for IP address and stuff. We have the two different modes, clip mode and free mode. If you are in free mode, it may sometimes be useful to be able to jump to now. That means we go to yeah the, the current time on the timeline, which is what we are jogging and basically able to build up clips in, in this case, bank number two, which we use for that. We can play back the selected event. We can play back the timeline. We can also uh, in clip mode, uh, yep, we have a playing back all events that we have in a playlist or the selected event that we are on and we can navigate these events here. As the last thing I wanna show you how we can use the up and down or the previous and next when we are playing back clips. So let's go to the first bank because there we had two clips with three angles and two angles that we can play back by pressing the all events button. And that's what's happening right now. If I hold down shift and I press the down button, then I'm basically skipping. Are you ready? I'm skipping right there. And we now go to this clip. So that is playing. And if I press it again, then it's going to skip to the next one. So if you have like dead space in your clips, you can just move forward to the next one instead of letting it, letting it automatically play back. So that's also an option that you find on the controller. If you do not hold down shift, you're basically just moving up and down in the list. And that's also useful just as navigation. If you wanna turn the angles on and off, as we discussed, um, then you can, you can basically do that using these buttons up here. Thank you for watching this video. If you find our content helpful, then please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. We welcome your comments here on social media and we would love to engage with you to assist you and to answer any questions you have about our products, such as Timespin. For further assistance, don't hesitate to contact our sales and support team.